Good morning to all. Today we will discuss on the topic pain. What are its types and what are the signs and symptoms and the management of pain? Okay, of pain is it is an unpleasant sensory and emotional experience associated with actual or potential tissue damage or described in terms of such damage. Okay, so it is an unpleasant sensory uh, sensory experience or a perception which is associated with the tissue damage. Nature of pain. Uh, pain may be subjective and highly individualized. Okay, it may differ from one person to another. Then its stimulus is physical or mental in nature. So it may be physical pain or mental pain. It interferes with the personal relationships and influence on, influences the meaning of life. So uh, while we are having pain, it will um, influence what we are doing or it will disturb our daily activities then only the patient knows where the pain is present and how the experience feels only the person who is having the pain will experience and know the type of pain then it may not be directly proportional to the amount of tissue injury so it means if there is a large amount of tissue injury then it doesn't mean that there will be large amount there will be more pain so the tissue injury might be less but it may be differ the amount of pain may differ okay so the sun symptoms of pain are maybe increased the person will have increased respiratory rate increased heart rate then peripheral vessel constriction that means in the periphery like hands and feet will have the vessel constriction that means the blood vessel will constrict then pillar elevated blood pressure the blood pressure will also be increased blood glucose level will also be increased diaphoresis will be there and dilated pupils so these are some of the signs and symptoms of pain then uh, classification of pain there are many types of pain it is classified according to the based on the duration location intensity and etiology so next based on the duration based on duration it may be classified as chronic and acute acute means we all know that will occur suddenly in a short period of time then chronic means it will occur for a long period of time it will increase gradually okay so acute pain acute pain is a pain which lasts only through the expected recovery period okay then acute pain is a prote uh, protective and has identifiable cause and is of short duration and limited tissue damage and emotional response so it will occur for a short duration then uh, it has an identifiable cause. It, it will eventually resolve with or without treatment after the injured area will heal. Okay, when the injured area starts to heal, the person having the acute pain will will be, uh, it will the pain will resolve automatically in a short period of time. Complete pain relief is not always achievable, but reducing the pain to a tolerable level is realistic. So it means that the the patient might not have the complete pain relief but it, it can also it can always be a relief with the help of certain medication or certain therapies then unrelieved acute pain can progress to the chronic pain okay so this chronic pain will occur when the acute pain is unrelieved for a long period of time then next is the chronic pain. Chronic pain is a pain that lasts longer than six months and is constrained of recurring a mild to severe intensity. So this chronic pain will occur gradually. It will occur uh, increase gradually and it will last longer than six months. It does not always have an identifiable cause and leads to a great personal suffering. Example, arthritic pain, headache, peripheral neuropathy. So these are the examples of the chronic pain. So we have seen here the difference between the chronic and acute pain. Chronic pain will last for the, uh, more than six months or for a longer period of time while acute pain will last for a short duration of time. Then in the chronic pain uh, it will not always it may not always have the identifiable cause but in the acute pain it will always have the identifiable cause next chronic pain the possible cause is unknown 
combined with the un uh, unrelenting nature and uncertainty of its duration frustrates a patient frequently leading to psychological depression and even suicide so the uh, in a chronic pain it is not uh, always that the uh, etiology or the cause of pain is identified easily so here in this chronic pain the person will have the uh, frustration of having the pain in a long period of time then leading to psychological depression and even suicide associated symptoms of chronic pain include uh, fatigue insomnia weight loss hopelessness anger so this all symptoms will occur with the chronic pain then chronic pain is again divided into chronic non-cancer pain, chronic cancer pain, and episodic pain. So in the chronic non-cancer pain, the chronic pain that results due to non-cancer condition is known as the non-cancer pain. Cancer pain, it is a pain that is caused by tumor, progression, and related pathological process, invasive procedures, toxicities of the treatment, infection, and physical limitations. So here in the patient with uh, cancer, the patient will be having the pain due to the progression of the tumor. Above that, he or she may also have the pain re uh, related to the invasive procedure, various invasive procedures or diagnostic tests performed and uh, due to the treatment, due to the medications or due to the infection and physical limitations. So these are the types of pain that a chronic uh, cancer pain will be having. Then in the chronic episodic pain, it is a pain that occurs sporadically over an extended period of time. So it will occur in the episode wise. Then pain episode for last, uh, last for hours, days or weeks. Examples are migraine headaches. So here in this chronic episodic pain, it will uh, have episodes. Okay, It might occur after uh, one or two days or one or two months like that. It will occur in episodes. But during this episode, it will again last for uh, some hours or even days and weeks. So the example of this chronic episodic pain is migraine. Then classification based on the location. Based on the location, the class, uh, pain may be classified as headache, which is occurring in the head, back pain, which occurs in the back, joint pain, which occurs in the joints, stomach pain, cardiac pain, referred pain. Referred pain is uh, the it is a pain due to the problems in other areas manifest in different body part. For example, uh, when we have pain in the uh, uh, when we are having the uh, pain due to the kidney stones okay the pain will uh, ra radiates towards our backwards we we'll also be having the back pain also so this type of pain which is occurring in the uh, not on the uh, location not on the localized part so this is known as the referred pain for example another example is also given cardiac pain may be felt in the soldier or left arm with or without the chest pain so when the person is having the pain in the heart actually then it will it may radiate to the soldier or the arm or the left arm with or without the chest pain so this is an example of the referred pain so these are all based on the location then based on the intensity it is divided into more mild moderate and severe so here uh, here is the pain scale in the pain scale it is given uh, as ratings like 0 if the patient is ex having the uh, level of 0 then it is uh, the patient will be having no pain then if it's up to 1 to 3 then mild okay then uh, if the scale is reading from 4 to 6 it is known as the moderate scale if it is from 7 to 10 it is having the severe pain so uh, while giving this pain scale, measurement scale, we can identify the patient's uh, pain level okay? due to the intensity, uh, according to the intensity. Next is the based on the etiology. Okay? Based on the uh, etiology, it may be nociceptive pain or neuropathic, neuropathic pain. Under the nociceptive pain, 
it may be somatic or visceral pain and under the neuropathic pain it may be visceral uh, uh, peripheral sorry peripheral neuropathic pain and central neuropathic pain so nociceptive pain is experienced when an intact properly functioning nervous system sends a signals the tissues are damaged requiring attention and proper care for example the pain experienced following a cut or broken bone alerts a person to avoid further damage until it's properly healed okay so once it is stabilized or healed the pain goes away so this nociceptive pain is the pain which uh, we we uh, which we, we will experience after having the physical damage so here in uh, for example we have seen when we uh, have any cut or broken bones broken uh, bo uh, bone the brain will alert the patient to take care uh, and pro uh, avoid the further damage then next is the uh, under the noxiceptive pain we have the uh, somatic and visceral pain somatic pain is known as uh, is called a physical pain which uh, which we have uh, due to damage in any part of our body like the wounds okay then this is a pain that originates from the skin muscle bone or connective tissue the substantiation of a paper cut or aching of a sprained ankle are common examples of somatic pain so this is a physical uh, somatic pain also known as a physical pain physical pain then under the um, visceral pain this occurs due to the uh, uh, damage in our visceral organs like the uh, visceral organs are like the liver heart stomach etc so this uh, according to this uh, areas we will be having the pain like cramping okay stomach we have uh, cramping of the stomach throbbing pressing and aching qualities so like we'll have the labor pain which is due to the uh, pain in the uterus then uh, angina pectoris irritable bowel syndrome so so this all are the related to the uterus uh, like uterus heart stomach etc intestines etc so uh, all those pain which are occurring in the visceral areas or visceral organs they are known as the visceral pain then under the neuropathic pain neuropathic pain is due to the malfunctioning of the nerves okay due to the illness injury or undetermined reasons like examples are diabetic neuropathy peripheral neuropathy then phantom limb pain spinal cord injury pain so these are the examples of neuropathic pain under the neuropathic pain it is again divided into peripheral and uh, central peripheral means it will occur in the periphery of the uh, periphery of our uh, body like example phantom limb pain so this phantom limb pain it is a pain uh, after a patient gets amputated that means after a patient's ha uh, hand or one of the hands or legs or body hands or body hands are amputated amputated means it will uh, the person will uh, the person's leg or hands will be cut due to the uh, reasons various reasons okay when the person's hands are uh, legs are cut but still the person will be having sensing uh, having the sensation of the pain in that area in the cut par part that means uh, that is known as the phantom limb pain that means the pain is occurring in the limb that is no longer present in the patient then in the central neuropathic pain it results from the malfunctioning nerves in the central nervous system okay it uh, central the word central is there so it will uh, resulting from the malfunctioning nerves in the central nervous system example the spinal cord injury pain post stroke pain so these are the examples of the central uh, neuro central neuropathic pain the next is the factors influencing the pain there are several factors which influence the pain like developmental factors will be there physiological factors social factors and psychological factors and cultural factors and the developing factors like age uh, according to the age when the person uh, is uh, having when the person is at the younger age 
he or she will not be able to uh, perceive the or understand the pain so uh, according to the age is this pain um, this pain level will be different different okay then under the physiological pain it will be due to the fatigue okay fatigue will help in the uh, increasing of the perception of pain and decreasing the coping stabilities then and uh, like genes genes uh, according to the gene of the patient the uh, the pain will be pain uh, scale the pain of increases or decreases according to the person's sensitivity okay then under the neurological function according to the uh, various nerves or malfunctioning or the reception or perception of various nerves the pain will be different under the social factors like attention the person will have the degree to which the person focuses on the attention will influence the pain perception for example if the patient is having the increased attention on the pain then you will be having the more pain then the, when the person is distracting from the uh, pain he is having and uh, focusing on other works then the, he might be having less pain then previous experience if a person repeatedly experiences the same type of pain that was relieved successfully in the past, the patient will find it easier to interpret or uh, easier to decrease the pain sensation. But if the person is having the worst previous experience, he may experience more pain. Then uh, next is a family and social support. The presence of family or friends can often make the pain experience less stressful. Then spiritual factors like uh, the person will have the uh, belief okay the person will have the belief that why this is happening only to me why i'm always suffering and then why has god does, done this to me so if the patient is having the more uh, physical uh, more thoughts like this then it will be much more painful then uh, next is the psychological factors like anxiety anxiety will increase the uh, pain then coping style coping style if the patient has uh, cop uh, if the patient has coping level decreased coping level then automatically it will he will have the increased pain if the patient is having more coping level then the uh, person will be having the less pain cultural factors cultural beliefs and values affect how the individuals will cope with pain like the in individuals uh, learn what is expected and accepted by their culture including how to react to pain okay in some cultures believe that it is natural uh, that we are having this uh, pain then others tend to be more introverted so next is a these are the uh, physical these are the factors which are influencing the pain 